kick ass facts. Pew, 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 pew. Some conflicts you may or may not be aware of. I don't know your life. The Great Emu War. In November and December 1932, after World War I, Australian farmers in Western Australia were plagued by a large number of emus eating their crops. The government deployed soldiers armed with machine guns to battle the emus. The emus, however, kicked some ass. They proved too fast and elusive. After several embarrassing attempts, the operation was abandoned and the emus won the war. The War of Jenkins' Ear lasted 1739 to 1748. This war between Britain and Spain got its name from an incident when a British captain, Robert Jenkins, claimed his ear was cut off by Spanish coast guards. Years later, when tensions between the two nations were already high, Jenkins displayed the severed ear in front of Parliament, sparking a war that lasted nine years. Hang on. Could you imagine being Robert Jenkins and you carry this ear and when something happens, you're like, oh yeah? Remember this? Speak up, I can't hear you. Yeah, I totally printed a picture of an ear just for that. The War of the Oaken Bucket, 1325. A war between the Italian city-states of Bologna and Modena. According to legend, the war began when Modenese soldiers, I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry, Italy. The soldiers stole a wooden bucket from a well in Bologna. The bucket was a symbol of local pride and its theft was seen as a grave insult. Bologna demanded its return, but Modena refused. The conflict escalated into a serious military engagement. Modena eventually won the war and kept the bucket, which was displayed in the Modena Cathedral as a trophy. Bologna was forced to accept Modena's victory and the bucket's loss. The Football War, July 14th to 18th, 1969. This was a brief war between El Salvador and Honduras, which erupted after a series of tense World Cup qualifying football matches. The underlying issues were related to immigration and land reform. The conflict only lasted 100 hours and resulted in significant casualties before a ceasefire was negotiated. And although it wasn't about football, it was tied to football matches. Soccer, if you're in North America. The Whiskey War, 1984 to 2022. This was between Canada and Denmark. There was a long-standing but good-natured disagreement over Hans Island, located between Greenland and Canada. Both countries regularly invaded the island, leaving behind bottles of whiskey or schnapps and exchanging friendly notes. This peaceful back and forth lasted decades and was finally resolved in 2022 with an agreement splitting the island. The War of the Stray Dog, October 1925. This was a conflict between Greece and Bulgaria, and according to the story, a Greek soldier on patrol near the border chased a stray dog across the Greek-Bulgarian border. When he crossed into Bulgarian territory, Bulgarian soldiers fired on him, killing him. In retaliation, Greece launched a military action against Bulgaria. The war consisted of a series of minor skirmishes and border clashes. The League of Nations eventually intervened to de-escalate the situation, and Greece was required to pay reparations to Bulgaria for the incident. The Honey War, 1839. This was a dispute between Iowa Territory and Missouri over a strip of land known as the Honeylands. The name Honey War comes from an incident in which a Missouri settler's beehives filled with honey were allegedly stolen by an Iowan. The settlers' anger over the perceived theft contributed to the escalation of tensions between the two states. The Honey War was ultimately resolved without significant violence. The federal government intervened and helped broker a resolution. The disputed territory was ceded to Iowa and the conflict was settled peacefully. Last on our list is the Pig War, from June to October 1859, a confrontation between the United States and the British Empire over the boundary between the United States and the British North America. It was triggered by the shooting of a British pig by an American farmer on San Juan Island. Tensions escalated, both nations amassed troops in the area, but no shots were fired between the two forces, and the pig was the only casualty. The dispute was eventually settled diplomatically. I also hope it was settled with the pig roast, otherwise that pig died in vain.